Hi, good morning guys, thanks for joining me. Hope everyone's well, hope everyone's having a nice week. Absolutely stunning day today, a little bit chilly but all the same, it's uh, lovely to be out. So what I thought we'd do today is have a go at making some kind of camp chair. Now going back around about two or three months ago when Rick T tagged me to do a little bit of camp furniture on his video, he actually made a chair. So I've just got the materials just down by the side of me, we'll just have a quick run through of them. We'll have a go at making one of these chairs. So because I've never made one of these chairs before, what we're going to do, we're going to make it exactly the same way as Rick did. Uh, I suppose I've been a little bit lazy over the years, I'm quite happy to sit in the dirt or sit on a tree stump, something like that. But I thought it'd be nice just to come out and just make some kind of furniture. And over the years I've seen various different sorts make, but uh, this one caught me eye the most and it uh, seems very, very simple to make. So the materials which we've got, we've got four poles and about four foot in length. Now Rick was saying he can have anywhere between four foot to six foot. And because they're not the thickest of poles, they're around about two, maybe three fingers thickness just on the longer ones it means we're going to go a little bit shorter because obviously I want this chair to be stable and then also we've just got the cross pieces here and also some which can lay down as little slats when the seat's been finished so apart from your pieces of wood like I say in four lengths around about four foot long these extra pieces say around about three foot and we can cut them down then also all we need is some way of lashing everything together so I've just got some jute you're going to need some kind of saw. So I've got the belt knife for cutting out the notches so the first thing we're going to do is make a couple of A-frames and we're going to take it from there. Okay, so that's the first part done. What we've done, we've just angled just the top pieces of the longer poles. So now all we've got to do is notch either side and then we can lash that with a little bit of cordage. And the angle of what you need to cut the top is basically dependent on how wide you want the bottom of the chair. So I've measured it just so that I can sit just in there nice and comfortably. So we have got quite a steep angle and for that I've just used the saw. If you've got a hatchet, you can just cut that out with a hatchet. But uh, like I say now, next process. We just lash them together. So when it comes to lashing the two poles together, there's various different ways of doing it. One of the ways which you find easiest is to start off with a clovitch. So we're going to make two coils, just feeding one behind the other, and then we can put that over the top of one of the poles, then just pull that tight. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that tail end, end hanging off and that's what we can join the other bit of cordage to when we tie it into the knot. So now it's just a case of situating them both together and then do some tight lashings around just to make sure that everything's all together. So the notch which I've used is just a, a number 7 notch, nothing fancy just a case of doing it just so the cord doesn't slip over the top and then like I say we're going to put some cross pieces across the bottom which is also going to give it a lot more support so once you've gone around like I say there's your little tag end you can then just use that just to tighten everything up with Just like so, and then we can just cut off the two ends, and then we can crack on with the cross pieces.
Okay, so that's the two A-frames made. So like I mentioned, the one which we're going to use is the seat. You put that cross piece right at the bottom. And then the next piece, which is the backrest, we put that cross piece around about seven inches up, which you can see there. And then all we've got to do is thread both of the triangles through each other, just like so. I'll bring the camera around just so you can see the shape just a little bit better. And then the next process is we're just going to put one more cross piece just across the back, just like so. So when we're sitting on the front end here, it's going to stop this back end from tipping up. And then what we could do is just put just a few more cross pieces just across the backrest and across the seat itself, just to make things just a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so I've just lashed that other pole just on the back there, which is going to stop the chair from lifting up. And that's pretty much the shape of the chair or the frame of the chair should I say so we'll just give it a quick quick try and nice angle there just to be climbing back on it's uh, not too bad so what we're going to do is just put just a couple of cross pieces across there just to make things just a little bit more comfortable and if you wanted to you could just put some roll mat over the top just to make it even more comfortable again Okay, so that's the finished chair. Not bad at all. Sit here for hours, I could just do the cup of tea. But uh, I have tried just on the back, just attaching just a few lashings for a couple of these cross pieces, but they seem to poke you in the back. But one thing I may do is just add just a couple more cross pieces there just to make things a little bit more comfortable. But like I say, you just piece, put a piece of roll mat down or just on the back, something like that. But the chair itself can be moved about. It isn't too heavy and uh, it is, you know, relatively stable. So there we have you guys, just a, a real quick video and a real nice project. So I just want to thank Rick just from the original video just showing us how to do them. This will be staying up here, but I think he took us home and put it in the garden. So again, another nice feature for the garden if that's the kind of thing that you're into. So like always guys, you just leave me say thanks a lot for you stopping by and watching the video. Like always, until next time, you take care and I'll see you again.